Wyatt Hendricks in the junior out of the Air Force Academy going up against Sam Schuyler, the redshirt senior heavyweight from Iowa State who finished fourth here are the Big 12 championships last year. This is another top 10 matchup in a weight class that is dominated at the top by wrestlers out of the Big 10. Two guys here trying to make some noise as Hendrickson ranked sixth in the country. His only loss against the number one wrestler at this weight, Mason Paris of Michigan. And Hendrickson the champion last year, this year, his third time qualifying for the NCAA tournament, trying to become an All-American for the first time. He is about as fleet of foot as you get at this weight class. Uh, Hendrickson is a strong guy. He's super aggressive. He looks to constantly attack from his feet and from the top position with tilts and turns. But uh, this is going to be a fun match to watch because the cycle, and he's got some right offense of his own right on his feet. He's super strong, stays in great position, not afraid to fire off those shots. Wyatt Hendrickson in the black singlet is a bonus point machine. The last match where he did not get bonus was all the way back in December. Hendrickson working from that front head cover position. Edge, trying Rest to find that corner, but Kyle's oh. doing an excellent job squaring up his hips, bending off that position. Hendrickson burst out of the gates in the semifinals against A.J. Nevels of South Dakota State. Turns all over the place, racked up 12 points in the first 90 seconds and rode out all but 11 seconds of the first period and route to a 17-1 victory. Skyler of Iowa State on his way to the NCAAs for the third time. Here's Hendrickson with the first takedown. Good job there by Hendrickson, counter rest. It looked like Skyler was trying to set something up with a little level change, working on the head, but Hendrickson was the first one to bite down and commit to it, dropped in on that leg, and this is where he can be really devastating. See, he's working right now. He can get a claw ride with a nice roll through tilt. Looks like he's collecting for a cradle, but Skyler's got to get out from that bottom position. He's got to stay active. Oh, down red. Hendrickson in on that single leg, driving into red. it off his toes, covering Space up for red. two points. Good penetration behind that shot. Contact, penetration behind it was the key. That. Good mat return there by Hendrickson. See, he's working again on his toes, making Skyler carry his weight. It's one of those things when, when your opponent knows you're tough on top, they're going to fight tooth and nail for a little while in that bottom position to try to stay away from what you want. But if you just continue to stay persistent, be aggressive, make them carry you, wear them, wear, wear them down, those turns will start to come. You can see right now, Hendrickson's doing that. But Skyler, nice job getting those hips away. Great move from Skyler in his second year with the Cyclones. Transferred in last year after beginning his career at the University at Buffalo the Mid-American Conference and took over for a former conference champ, Gannon Grummel at Iowa State, who had another year of eligibility and decided not to use it. 30 guys, action. Just the fact that Skyler was able to get away, that's a big accomplishment, especially with under a minute left in this match. Hendrickson's been devastating from top, and he wasn't able to get a turn. Put some right time up there, but still, the, the key is he wasn't able to turn, so... That's something Skyler can take away into this next period, because he didn't give up the, the, any near fall point. That's big. Especially with that being a specialty of Hendrickson, who had a bonus rate of 83% this year. Three, four, motion on bottom is key. Hendrickson working for that arm chop. Skyler felt the position, saw an opportunity, a little window, snuck out with that switch, got his hips away, turned in. Good job there, staying active for bottom. Come in on. One green. And quickly out for Hendrickson. His grandfather served in the Navy. He's at the Air Force Academy. Head 
coach Sam Barber, and in his corner today, Joe Johnson and Scotty Boykin. Nice job there by Skyler, clearing that tie. He's really doing a good job in the hand fight, and I'm watching. He's working collars. Every time Hendrickson starts working underhook, he's sealing off with that elbow, controlling wrists. You see the level change there, little fakes, attacking legs. He's staying active. Action, fellas. Battle through this. Action. Skyler here into the finals off of a win over Zach Elop of Missouri who ended up taking third earlier today Hendrickson going for back-to-back -back Big 12 championships Fingers She's getting Skyler working in on the inside tie with his left hand Hendrickson's doing a good job working with some snaps there. It looks like he's trying to wear down that neck of Skyler. I think he needs to commit to it a little bit more. Make him carry that weight a little bit. Wear that back out. Get Skyler to straighten up a little bit more so he can work on those uh, leg attacks that he likes. Out of those ties, time for a shot here to end the second. couple of fakes Hendrickson will take 3-1 and the third and you're at heavyweight choice, what you want, going down. 38 Red straight down. year champ week continues on the networks of ESPN tomorrow the West Coast Red Conference semi-finals BYU in the number one seed St. Mary's the Zags of Gonzaga the number two seed up against the Dons of San Francisco 1130 Eastern ESPN 2 tomorrow also on the app Excellent job there by Hendrickson weathering the little bunch of turns of Skyler looking for some near fall. He's got two and has built the riding time over a minute. So now 5 1 Hendrickson plus the riding time point, an effective five point lead for the number one seed. Well earned points there by Hendrickson. Skyler was. Doing a good job getting funky with his hips, creating some motion and, and some uh, open windows, but Henderson followed got through, got to his position, oh. got the near fall on the edge. That's crucial, huge. Down red. Big points on the edge. See right there, Henderson following those hips, Down covering red. up, working to adjust. You see right there, in on right his top. tilt, driving on those toes. That's the key thing. He's able to cinch that uh, tilt up by driving on those toes, keeping the pressure, Stay finding set. that angle. Top. Stay active on your feet from that top position. You create opportunities to score like that. You know, one of the really interesting things to watch in a couple of weeks when the NCAA championships are here will be Hendrickson against some of those guys from the Big Ten because he doesn't really reach the upper weights of this weight class to see how he contends with those guys. Back to their feet, second point for Skyler, down to a minute to go. For Skyler to dial up that offense right now. Hendrickson's been doing everything necessary. Had a takedown, got some near fall points. And the drive for another pair. The riding time point locked in. He's up eight to two with 30 seconds to go. Solid counterattack there by Hendrickson, getting his legs back, finding that angle and dropping it on that leg. Way to stay active in this match. You got Less than a minute left in the third period. You're up on the scoreboard. You stay on the attack. Take those opportunities that are presented to you. There's the opportunity. You took it. Still fighting for more here. Inside 10 seconds to go in the third period. First time since December he doesn't get bonus points. But it's good for Wyatt Hendrickson. A second Big 12 championship for the heavyweight from the Air Force Academy. Great job, buddy. Another impressive performance for Hendrickson, working through this match, getting his takedowns, getting his near fall, counter wrestling. Showed he has all it takes in now. I'm interested to see what he does at the national tournament. Great win for the big man.
Casey Henderson is getting to that corner, dropping on that leg, driving on those toes, staying active. How would you describe your style? I think it's unique. I mean, I never, I never grew up wrestling as a heavyweight, and so I definitely think going from the bottom up, lower weight classes up, it's just advantageous because when I get to bigger weights, I don't change my style, I still wrestle. I'm a 125 pounder, 160 pounder. We didn't get to talk last year. Congratulations, it's two in a row. Uh, tell me about Cadet Squadron 9 and, and, and the guys back in Colorado Springs. Oh, they're my family. I have two families at the academy, my wrestling family, my squadron family. I'm actually fortunate if now, if you switch squads and now in squad three, shout out to my boys and girls in squad three, we did it. What are the demands like? It's pretty tough, you know, but they're really supportive. That's the biggest thing is they support me as a cadet in the, in the um, club and classroom, but also as an athlete down in athletics. Congratulations, Wyatt. That, that was awful fun to watch. Wyatt Hendrickson, as he described it, 